number three, Ashade Street, Meron, Lagos State. The residents of Little Pastor Samuel Akionla Adigu, this all used to serve as a place of fellowship for some Christian brothers and sisters who believed in his calling. But today, it is serving as a venue for his service of songs and wake up. How mysterious life can be. teacher, an encourager, a prayer warrior par excellence, Pastor Samuel Akiola Adigu succumbed to colon cancer on the 26th of December 2020. I was there when he died, so it first felt as if um, he was asleep. Some hours later when um, the doctor came, they confirmed that he was dead. He followed God um, to his death and he was a devoted man of God. So um, we have to just follow the pathway as put for us. A good example to people, he touched lives positively and 
Um, losing him is a great loss. It's really painful and um, I still can't believe he's dead. My five and six, we walk hand in hand. A man of passion and integrity. A man that serves God to the hands. Even at a sick bed, he's still working. Oh, I miss him. When the pastor receive, they don't give. That is not at the going. No. The kind of man that people will come with problem to his presence, even with crying. And at the end, by the time they are going, they laugh. A man of simplicity. Very unique. A man that can sacrifice everything he has to please you. I don't, you know, I really don't know if the family know the magnitude of someone whom they have lost. The day or the time of his death, he keep praising God, singing. He even called some pastors to come and pray for him. He said to them, stop the prayer. I can see the angels coming. Look at the angel holding onto my hands. And he said to them, seek for a, a smooth journey. Raising his hands up. Behold, he said, it is finished. And he died. A great man is gone. He, he prayed to me to break through. He was somebody that taught me how to, when I, 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 I was in Christ, when I met Pastor Adigo. Well, until I met him, I knew I wasn't in Christ. But when I met him, he showed to me the way of the law. He, he, he rooted me in the world. Somebody that I can never forget. I keep telling everyone why we are alive. We should leave legacy that will speak after our death. Pastor Adigo has done work that is speaking after his, after his death now. Highly enterprising, industrious, and very committed to the work of God. Uh, I had an encounter with him when I came to Abu Leba. He was the one that actually was a zonal pastor there that left before I came in. And I heard a lot about him, how he brought about a lot of developmental projects in that particular place. And he was so close to the members that they loved him dearly. And it's even very glaring today because you could see quite a lot of the old members that knew him, right, uh, at this uh, wake up. God knows the best. Uh, I just pray that God will grant him eternal rest and that the family that he has left behind, God will grant him the fortitude to bear the irreparable loss. Someone that will hold your hands in the journey of faith, someone that will train you, stand with you, even in the times of trouble. There is a saying that says the best firewood burns faster. We cannot ask God why, but we are all shocked by his death. He has been an instrument in the hands of God that has used to touch people's lives up and down. Very meek, very friendly, very down to heart. Weeping cannot sort out anything. The only thing we need to put in place is to appreciate God. Is to give thanks to God. Prayer is another key that you need to put in place. When you pray, then as God answer prayer. That is a good payment. Your joy comes in the morning. I prophesy into our lives today. Today will be a day of your joy in the name of Jesus. So the three things we need to put in place in times like this is to encourage ourselves. Do not be discouraged. Ah, a great teacher, an encourager, a prayer warrior par excellence, 
Pastor Samuel Akionla Adigu succumbed to colon cancer on the 26th of December, 2020. At the graveside, it was an outpouring of emotions as many who came from far and near watched his body committed to Mother Earth. Dust, dust. <laughs> and sure and, and made like unto his own glorious body. According to the mighty working whereby he is able to solve. <laughs> Born on 18th of December 1962 in Ishan Ekiti, Samuel Akionla Adigu had his primary and secondary education in Ekiti State. He attended the Federal University of Technology, Akure, where he got a bachelor's degree in agricultural engineering. He went further to obtain Master's of Business Administration in Marketing at the Delta State University in 2001. He worked at Nigerite from 1995 to 2007 and ventured into his ministry in 2006, starting from MFM Gospel Branch. He rose to the level of a regional overseer at the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries and served God until his demise. Pastor Samuel Akiola Adigo, he survived by his wife, Bosse Adigo, and four children. Oh, 